All right, we have a lot of new details coming from the Texas Department of Public Safety. In fact, they shared this map with us today, and I want to begin right here because this is a crucial thing that we're going to loop back to later on. DPS says the shooter began right here on campus and started firing shots into the building here, possibly through the windows on this side of a school building. The school resource officer, they say, was not on campus at the time, but arrived really quickly, but drove right past the shooter out here who was crouched down. Then, a very important point here. DPS says the shooter was able to walk around the building and then straight in through this back door, which minutes earlier had been propped open by a teacher. From there, he, they say he went straight into these adjoining classrooms, number 111 and 112, and began a hellish rampage with his assault style rifle and enough ammunition for a small militia. Hundreds of rounds were pumped in in four minutes, okay, into those two classrooms. Inside those classrooms, the shooter had locked the doors behind him. In this hallway, police were staging, but they couldn't get through those doors because they didn't have equipment to breach them. And besides, the school district police chief, DPS says, was in charge of all of this and decided to go ahead and wait here in the hallway because he no longer thought that this was an active shooter situation. The incident commander at the time was, it's believed, was a barricaded subject that we had time. There was no kids at risk. That despite the fact that students were still calling 911 from inside this school building. DPS says at 12.03 p.m., 30 minutes after the shooting began, a little girl called from room 112 and whispered that she was in that room. Seven minutes later, she called back. Advisor, multiple dead. 12.13. Again, she called on the phone. Again at 12.16, she called back and said there was eight to nine students alive. Three minutes after that, another call for help, this time coming from room 111. She hung up when another student told her to hang up. More gunshots, according to investigators, and then an additional 24 long minutes elapsed before another call came in from room 112. At approximately 12.43 and 12.47, she asked 911 to please send the police now. DPS says not long after that, now an hour and 17 minutes after the shooting inside began, they were able to get a key from the school to make entry into these two classrooms and shoot the gunman to death. By then, of course, though, teachers and students inside had already been killed. Back to that crucial point that we began with up here when the shooter first arrived at the school. Some people are now asking DPS why police officers didn't try to shoot the suspect through the windows of these classrooms when they were locked out from those doors. Right now, DPS does not have an answer for that. Uh, that's one of many questions that this investigation is now focused on.